Okay, don't want you acoustic players to feel left out. So I have got the camera panned over so you can see my picking hand. I'm a right-handed player, so that's my right hand. And I wanted to talk about one of the things that really gets in people's way when they are trying to uh, work on their finger picking skills. And that is not positioning the hand so that the thumb has plenty of room over here to move on its own. Uh, if you want to think of it this way, it's almost like the thumb needs to have its own lane to drive in. So when I'm doing an exercise like this, you can see that I'm, I'm, I've got my fingers here planted on the top strings and I'm working my thumb using just the muscles that swing the thumb. When I want to work on the fingers, then I'll plant my thumb up here on string six and you can see that the index finger or that the middle finger has the, um, uh, also a lane where the fingers are pulling basically straight into my palm like that. So what you're trying to avoid that really causes problems is positioning your hand so that your thumb and your index finger can collide with each other if you're trying to pick. You can't, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It doesn't mean you can't play at all. But what it does mean is because you really cheat the follow through that you need to get a solid, loud, full sound out of the guitar, what happens when you work that way is that your sound will be smaller, it'll be less focused, you get into situations where your index finger is trying to pick the string by kind of scratching along the string, which you can hear brings out a lot of nail noise. Not really the sound you want. So what you're trying to do is to put your hand in sort of a thumbs up position like this, roll, rotate it. You can see that my neck, is, or my, my neck, my wrist is not straight, it's dropped a little bit. And that's what helps to create that space for my thumb to move and my fingers to move so everybody gets to go their own way without being blocked by any other finger. So this is a really important concept. It's always hard to break old habits and replace them with new ones. So if you're new to finger picking, take a look at your hand and make sure that you're not setting yourself up to try and play like this. I have seen a few people actually fairly successfully play by pulling the thumb kind of behind the fingers this way, but again, it's not a sound that I like because for me it's just too much of the sound of the nails scratching along the strings. I don't want to hear the nail striking the string, I just want a fat note. Okay, so something to think about.